Hi everyone, in this video we're going to take a quick look at how to create a custom action to help semi-automate our magic wand selection process. Primarily automating the process of expanding our uh, magic wand selection by a couple of pixels so that it overlaps with our line work. So uh, what we're going to do is um, just to give you a bit of an idea of what we're talking about. Um, if I come into the Magic Wand tool and I do a selection, let's say, on the hat, uh, we get the selection there. And what we're going to do, uh, what we would normally do is come up to Select, Modify, Expand, and we'd expand it by a couple of pixels. And that's going to make the selection overlap with the line work a little bit, which you can see there. Uh, what we want to do, so that we don't have to keep going through uh, the menu, select, modify, expand, and then hit enter, we're going to automate that process by recording an action for it. So the way that we do that is pretty easy. We first want to come to the window menu, and we want to select actions just here. That's going to pop open the actions panel. Um, I'm just going to break this off so you can see it a little more clearly. Um, usually by default there's a whole range of different actions already supplied uh, with Photoshop for various things. What we're going to do is create a new custom action. I'm going to start off by creating a folder uh, that I'm going to keep my personal custom uh, actions in. So I'm going to call this Simon's Custom. Like that. And then I'm going to create a new action inside here. So to create a new action we click on the new action button just here and we're going to give this a name and I'm going to call this uh, let's call this selection oops make sure I spell it correctly selection expand 2px, 2 pixel, and I'm going to hit record. Uh, oh, before I hit record, what I can do is set a function key. That usually comes in handy, um, and it's usually always going to be one of the F keys. Uh, so what I'm going to do is set it to, I might set this one to F8, just there, and you can also add a, um, a modifier if you want. On a Mac the control option would be uh, command. Um, I might hit shift F8 I think for mine and if you want you can give it a color so it stands out. Um, so I'll just uh, add an orange to that. And then what we're going to do is hit record. So you can see down here it's got this little record button. It's got stop, record and play. So currently record is active which means the software is now going to record any single individual action that I take um, or that I perform in the software. Now for me to be able to expand a selection so that the action can be recorded, what I need to do is actually make a selection first. So what I'm going to do is use the magic wand and create a selection. And you can see that it's actually got uh, that recorded there, set selection, and it's telling me what um, the actual selection options are. Okay, uh, so that's in there. Now what I'm going to do is expand that selection. So I'm going to come up to select, I'm going to come down to modify, and I'm going to go to expand, and I'm going to make sure that it's two pixels because that's what I've called my action. Uh, and it's remembering that I did two pixels last time, so that's okay. All I have to do is hit OK, like that. And uh, that's basically all I need. So now what I'm going to do is hit stop. And my action is now recorded. But there's one problem. The issue is that we also recorded the magic wand tool selecting this area to begin with. And I don't want that to happen uh, within the action. Because if I play the action, it's going to select an area first and then expand it. What I want to be able to do is manually select the area I want to select and then use the action just to expand the selection by two pixels. So what I'm going to do is come and highlight set selection and I'm going to delete that out of the action. We just say OK. So now what my action is, 
is just the expansion of any selection that I've got by two pixels. Okay. So that's essentially the action recorded. So if I deselect the selection by coming up to select, deselect, and then I come down to another part of the, um, the drawing, just to show you that it'll work anywhere. Uh, let's say we do the face. If I uh, select the face like this, and then with the select, um, select expand two pixels action selected, if I press play, it then expands it by two pixels. Okay, now obviously earlier on I added a keyboard shortcut, so I can do that as well. If I come down here, for example, and I select that and then hit Shift F8 on the keyboard, you can see that it expands the selection. So what that's doing is allowing me to replace three or four mouse clicks in some fiddly menus with a single click here, or better yet, a keyboard shortcut. So I can increase my productivity if I have to keep doing these selections over and over and over and over again um, during the process that I'm using. Now, one of the nice things about this is uh, what I could do with the magic wand is hold down shift. I can click in my first area and then hold down shift and click the other areas that would be um, the same color that I'm gonna use. So I've clicked the head, the face, the jaw, and the body. And now what I can do is hit Shift F8. It'll expand all of those out. And then what I can do is basically fill that color with Alt Backspace, and it fills it all in one hit. And all of those color areas are underlapping slightly behind the line work. So I'm not leaving any gaps. Once you've set that um, action up, it's basically in there until you delete it. So you can create a whole collection of, of custom actions for all sorts of different uh, tool processes in Photoshop and build up your own um, custom library of actions.